Hey guys, it is Monday, May 24th, and I have 22 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. Before I get started, I'll let you guys know that I am completely moved into the new place. Um, I did a moving video last week, and I realized after I shot it that I really didn't show that much of the new place, but I got everything like settled in here now, so I'm gonna give you guys another tour of what it looks like. So this room is the shipping room, and it's also where I'm holding most of my eBay inventory, listed inventory that is. I've got my rack here with boxes, and I got dividers for different sizes and everything. Then. I brought my workbench over, more boxes down below, and then I got my big, you know, long steel pole here to hold my packing paper. I did something a little different with my bubble wrap. At the old place, I had it hanging from a ceiling, but since I switched to American Bubble Boy, they actually send uh, four, ro four rolls that are smaller than that big giant roll. So it kind of like opened up some options for me. So I found these at a local hardware store, Menards. These are brackets for like hanging uh, flower baskets and they come out 12 inches from the wall. And then what I did was I put a piece of PVC pipe between them and I put a little bolt there so that whenever this runs out, all I have to do is loosen the bolt, pull it out, put a new one in and then pop it back in. So I can swap out bubble wrap probably in like 20, 30 seconds. And then I've got one over here for the small bubbles as well. I've got natural light coming in here, which I love at the old place. I didn't have any natural light unless I had the big back garage door open. But yeah, there's a lot of space in here. Something else I'm doing a little bit differently this time. At my old warehouse, what I would do is pack all my stuff and then just, you know, wheel, it, wheel all the packages into my little office space because they were just connected right there. And then I would sit down and print all the labels. But here, my office space is like down the hall to the right and I just don't want to move a bunch of packages and try to you know meander through these hallways so what I'm gonna do is pack two three four five items whatever and then bring them over here and then print the labels and stick them in the Ikea bags all right let's come in here this is my eBay listing room and it's also kind of just like a holding area so whenever stuff comes in this is where it goes first so everything in here is unlisted and I've got a big photo set up here I used these at the old place, but I went ahead and got new ones because I was using like a four foot table, but I went ahead and wanted to do a six foot table since I have the space. And these panels are uh, Plastex panels. I think they're made for uh, like bathroom walls. If you just want like a cheap bathroom wall or like a shower wall, I guess, because um, they're water resistant, they wipe clean really easily. I also got those at Menards. They were like 22 each, something like that. And they are, six foot by eight foot i want to say i want to say it's six foot by eight foot and i just attach these with command strips so i've got some command strips here i think there's like you know seven or eight different points that i put them and just put them right on the wall then up here well we've got the funko pops displayed you guys probably remember those got all the mlb mascots Freddie Mercury, Rivers Cuomo, Ron Swanson, Dwight Schrute, some Cincinnati Reds, some Sandlot guys, Michael Jordan. Uh, this is like the lobby area right here. And for the most part, I think I'm gonna leave this open. All of the chairs and tables and decorations and stuff that were left over, I'm just gonna put in my first sale just to get rid of the stuff because I don't need it. I might have like one rack empty in here just for kind of like a holding area. Uh, but this is also where, you know, some of the kiddos are gonna hang out whenever they come to work with me. Go down the hall here, and here is my brother-in-law Brennan's space. He's got this big double office here, and he has a YouTube channel as well called The Curious Picker. So if you guys want to check him out, I'll put a link down below in the description. But yeah, he's got a ton of room. He's got all his listed inventory. He's brought in a bunch of racks, and he's got a cool little space. We come in here. This is my office. This desk was already here, but it was on this wall, but I just flipped it around because I'd rather be looking out, you know, into some trees and nature as opposed to just staring at a wall. But yeah, this is messy right now. I still got a lot of different, you know, things I need to put on the wall and decorate a little bit. Here's our kitchen area. I brought the little mini fridge from the uh, warehouse. I decided to go ahead and get a water cooler because I was buying so many bottles of water and like just wasted a bunch of plastic and it wasn't really that cost effective either. So now we got a water cooler, microwave, we got a whole little kitchen area. So I really like that. Take you guys down to the basement. 
So last time I showed this to you guys, I think he had like three sets of washers and dryers and he went ahead and took one of them out. I think he might be taking the other ones too. I'm not really sure yet, but we're doing box storage down here. This particular area is like big boxes, long, awkward, weird boxes. So we've got like boxes for golf clubs. These are just really big boxes, uh, long skinny boxes. It's just kind of like the Land of Misfit toys for boxes down here. And then... We got more box storage. So these are boxes I use all the time. These are six by four by four. Here's eight by six by four. Uh, here's 10 by eight by six. And back here we've got our bubble wrap stored. So I mentioned American Bubble Boy earlier. I'll put a link down below if you guys need bubble wrap, but I like that it's smaller rolls instead of those huge rolls that I used to use because these are much easier to store. I can store what is it, two, four, six, eight on each rack. And each one of those rolls is like 175 feet. 200 feet, something like that. Got more box storage over here, tape storage. We've got bubble mailers. Here's some poly bags. And we still have all this space to work with. And back here, this is the back room leading in from the back. And it's kind of a weird area because there's not a ton of like space here to really put anything. I think eventually we're gonna do a pegboard wall to hang like tools, miscellaneous things that we use. But there's a lot of extra storage that goes around the corner. So we'll definitely be utilizing that. Take you guys upstairs really quick. So this is where the shop's gonna be. It is a complete mess right now, <laughs> I apologize. Everything that I've brought up here is what's gonna be for sale when we do our monthly sale. And there's still a lot of desks to get out of here too. So we got one desk out of here yesterday, but we've still got one, two, three, four of them to tear down and get out of here. One more room, I almost forgot. Flick the light on here, there we go. So I haven't decided what to do with this room yet. Right now I've got, one rack of listed inventory, I'm sorry, three. Three racks of listed eBay inventory. Um, it's my F, G, and H racks. And I think I want to put the G and H racks down in the basement because that stuff is kind of like long tail. It's like yearbooks and clothing and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna be needing to access it as often and that'll open up some space. I think this room is gonna be for like the bigger, like oddball pieces I decided to put on Facebook Marketplace maybe. I'm not quite sure yet. All right, that's pretty much the new place in a nutshell. I love it so far. I love that I can actually work in here now. The last like week and a half has just been spent getting everything moved in, organized, like to where I can ship things and list things and like actually do work. So I'm really excited about that. I mentioned the monthly sale that we're gonna have uh, on the second floor. It's gonna be all kinds of stuff, uh, just tons and tons of stuff. And we're gonna do it one Saturday a month. We haven't decided when yet, probably in January, not January probably in July at some point. And if you guys wanna check it out, I'll put a link down below. We're doing a mailing list. So sign up for the mailing list and we will shoot out a, a big email to everybody, letting them know date, time, address, pictures of what's for sale, all that stuff. So sign up below for that. All right, before we get to the eBay orders, I made a few sales outside of eBay. Uh, these are all going out to viewers. Let's see, we sold the Joker Funko Pop to Kyle for $15. Leatherface is going out to Michael for $30. These are all free shipping, by the way. Punisher is going out to Hector with Legend Toys and Collectibles for $20. This Mizuno glove is going out to Jeremy for $30. The Smoking Man, uh, Cigarette Smoking Man Funko from X-Files is going out to Matt for $50. Ethan bought Ferris Bueller and Cameron Fry uh, for $55. And Ryan bought the Buddy Christ figure from Dogma for $35. Kyle, Michael, Hector, Jeremy, Matt, Ethan, and Ryan. Guys, thank you all so much for the support. I really hope you like that stuff. And I had my store on vacation for a couple weeks, but I did make a couple sales. So I want to give a special shout out to David, Bart, Montana, Zach, Kyle, Tim, Kyle, Matthew, Robbie, and Patrick from the Netherlands. Guys, thank you all so much for the business. It really means a lot. All right, we're pulling eBay orders now. And we're going into the side room first because I sold some yearbooks. Let's flick on the light. And first one, I believe, is up there in H2. This one right here, that sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And that same buyer got another Thomas More yearbook here in H1. This one is from 1969. Right here, that sold for $20 plus shipping. And both of these are going out to be named Chris. Chris, thanks so much for your support. Next thing going out is in C52. Right over here, this is a Rick and Morty keychain light. I only have a few of these left. I had like close to 10 of them I think originally. Uh, part of that big eBay store buyout I made. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Alright we're going back into the spare room here. I sold one, two, three, four, five, six. Six yearbooks to the same buyer and I believe they're all down here in G6. They're all from 
Hamilton High School. Let's see here. We've got 1943, 45, 46, 47, 49, and 50. Six total yearbooks. Buyer reached out asking if I would do a deal for all of them. I said absolutely. So we agreed on $60 plus shipping, uh, even though my sale here is showing like $119.94 plus shipping. Next thing is a card in A3. Let's see, it should be in here. It's a Petra Corbin autograph green parallel card, number 25. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. And it's going to be named Justin. Justin, thank you for the business. I hope you like the card. Next thing is a whole bunch of syrup. Let's see, up here in, well, it said C1, but I don't see it. Here it is. This is six bottles of Jordan Skinny Syrups Vanilla. This is part of that eBay store buyout, so I probably don't have much into this. That sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is down here in A51. It's a lot of NFL cards. I think there's some patches, some autographs. There's a total of 15 of them. They sold at auction for $51 plus shipping. Next is on B2. It is 1990. Tops baseball complete set. New the plastic that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing's over here on B4. It is this huge ham radio. Let me move these sham sets out of the way. This is a Firebird Swinger F100. I got this from Danny from Pickle Resellers, uh, part of a big book buy. I probably got $75 into it. That sold for $149.99 plus shipping. Next is in B21. This is a vintage PC game, something I've had for quite some time. I got this at a garage sale last year for a dollar, and it finally sold after I lowered the price a few times. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is down here in A6. It is a custom lot of Funkos that I did for a viewer. A viewer named Steven reached out wanting these. Uh, it is three pack uh, Ghostface, Chucky, and Billy. We've got Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, Michael Myers from Halloween, Hannibal Lecter, Psycho from Borderlands, Deadpool, and Pennywise from It. Uh, these are all going out to Steven for $99.99 free shipping. Steven, thanks so much for the support. I hope you like the Funko Pops. Next thing's right here on A3. This 1994 Topps Baseball Complete Set sealed in the plastic. I have, I think, maybe $10 or $20 into this. Also something I bought from Danny. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Sold another set right here. This is 1995 Tops, and that one sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Next thing's on D2. It is this Looney Tunes Converse backpack. I just picked this up at a garage sale last weekend for $10, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Going out to your name, Ricky. Ricky, thanks so much for your support. We're going to C32 next. I think it's actually this one. <laughs> I think when I moved all the boxes, I mislabeled the one, but I'm pretty sure this is the one I'm looking for. Let's see, yep, this is it. It is a Heinz Portable Mustard Plush. Kind of a weird thing. Got it in that eBay store buyout, so I probably only got a few dollars into it. That sold for $18.99 free shipping. Next thing's a mug up here in A21. This one right here, it is the Peabody Hotel in Memphis. I've never been there, but I hear that they have ducks that ride the elevator to the roof and they have a red carpet for them and then there's this little like pond that they swim in uh, this sold for $14.99 plus shipping sold two sets of hubcaps first one is this set of four Cadillac these are from the late 60s I believe I bought these a few months back as part of a bulk buy so I've maybe got $20, $25 into them had them listed for around $80 somebody sent me an offer of $50 plus shipping and I accepted all right, the other set of hubcaps I sold are these Mustang ones right here. Got these from the same buyer in that bulk buy a few months ago, and these sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next thing's an A32. This is a Secret Language of Birthdays book. I have about $5 into this. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a Reva Shelf Lazy Susan. This box right here. Brand new in the box. It was part of the eBay store buyout. Let's see if I can get it off of the shelf here. So this is made to go inside a cabinet. It's like a two-tier Lazy Susan. That sold for, how much did it sell for? $69.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in C51. Let's see, it is this realistic brand battery charger for walkie-talkies. I bought some walkie-talkies, gosh, like six, nine months ago. It's been a long time and there was an extra charger so I decided to sell it. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. Last order we're pulling 
is a set of Nerf guns. Let me move these out of the way. It is two Nerf guns, also part of that eBay store buyout. These sold for $29.99 plus shipping. It's Tuesday, May 25th. I have 11 eBay orders to ship out, and I have a couple orders outside of eBay, a couple things going out to viewers. First is this Coco Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. I got it at a garage sale last weekend, I think it was. I paid a dollar for it. That's going out to Martha for $50 free shipping. Next is Moonlighting Season 5 on DVD. That's going out to Marianne for $25 free shipping. And last is the Spice Rack I got a few weeks ago. That is going out to Linda for $25 free shipping. Martha, Marianne, and Linda, thank you all so much for the support. All right, first eBay order we're shipping out is an F32. So it's coming in this room right here. This guy right here, this is a Lego Hulk figure. A little bit bigger than like the little miniature ones that you see. This one sold for $19.99 free shipping. Next is three Funko Pops. Down here on E6, it's the three from the X-Files. We got Fox Mulder, Dana Scully, and Alien. All three of these sold to the same buyer for $139.97 plus shipping, and they bought them separately and paid shipping on each. So I'll just come buy them all in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. And there's a grant to your name, Lori. Lori, thank you for the business. I hope you like those Funko Pops. All right, sold something in H3. I guess I could have just stayed in this room. This is a vintage Cincinnati Zoo shirt that says support your local cat house. I got this in that eBay store buyout a few months a few months back and it sold for $39.99 free shipping. Next we're going to E41. It is a pair of binoculars. These right here. Tesco 10 by 50 millimeter. These sold for $12.99 plus shipping going out to your name Owen. Oh, and thanks so much for the business. I really appreciate it. Next thing I'm pulling is a skateboard. This is a penny skateboard. It's a good brand to look out for if you guys ever see these. They're not full size. This one's 22 inches. I got this at a garage sale two, maybe three weeks ago. I paid $10 for it and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Sold another Funko Pop down here. It is from Breaking Bad. I'm pretty sure it is this one. There's two Walter Whites. Let me double check here. Um, yeah, this is the one. Walter White in his undies holding the gun. That sold for $44.99 plus shipping. Next thing, we're coming to A41. It is a PC game, Dark Rain 2. Got this last year in a bulk buy. I've got maybe a dollar into it. That sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Sold one more Funko Pop. Guess I could have just went ahead and pulled this. I pulled the Walter White one. This is a Charlie Brown Peanuts Funko. Uh, both of these Funkos I got in that recent big buy you guys saw me make. This one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next order has two items. First is a Starbucks coffee mug up here in A21. This one right here. And next thing is in C51. This is a butter dish that I got from that eBay store buyout. Same buyer bought both of these for $37.98 plus shipping. Both of those are going out to the name Jennifer. Jennifer, thanks for your support. It really means a lot. Last thing I'm shipping out is right here on B2. This is the Sony, what is this? Equalizer, synthesizer, something, definitely not a synthesizer. Graphic equalizer. Got this at the garage sale last weekend where I got that stack of Sony stuff and bundled it with the uh, CD player. So I've maybe got five ten dollars into this something like that this worked great but it was missing one of the feet i don't know if you can see that right there so i made sure i pointed that out and it hurt the value a little bit if it was in really good shape i think it could get 70 80 bucks but as it was it sold for 49.99 plus shipping it's wednesday morning i have 12 ebay orders to ship out but first i got a couple of viewer questions i want to answer first one is from cutlass 7687 when you go into garage sales or anything like that do you have things you try to look for or ask about first if so what do you look for i always ask for coin collections, Legos, and 90s toys. I always ask for video games, but now it seems like everybody's asking for video games. Every time I ask for them, the person having the sales, like, yeah, you're like the third person that's asked. So um, now what I try to ask for is like sports memorabilia, cameras, vinyl records, just like a variety of things. And you really don't know what they have unless you ask. I can't tell you guys how many times somebody has pulled something out of their house just because I asked them, like, if they had anything. Another thing I'll do is if I see one thing, you know, that is in the category of what I'm looking for, I'll ask if they have more or like variations. Like for instance, two or three weeks ago, I was at a sale and they had a red stein, like a beer stein for sale. And I bought it and was like, do you have any other red stuff? And they're like, yeah, and they took me down to the basement and they had just like 
a treasure trove of bobbleheads. <laughs> I bought a ton more bobbleheads, so that's something you definitely want to do. Every sale you go to, always ask if they have what you're looking for. Even like if you don't think they will, just ask. It's a numbers game. If you do it a hundred times, you know, three or four times, it's going to pay off. Okay, next is from Allison McLaughlin. How do you keep everything so clean? Do you have to spend a lot of time cleaning, repairing things, or do you only buy stuff that's already in mint condition? How do you make the decision whether to buy something that isn't in perfect condition, but you think it will still go for quite a bit anyways? That is a really good question. So I always make sure I clean stuff up really good. Um, I've got all kinds of cleaning rags and cleaning supplies and all that, and I'm fine with investing five, 10 minutes, something like that, cleaning something up if I know it's gonna sell for, you know, maybe 50 bucks or more. It's really tricky because I do find stuff that's just like dirty and gross and nasty all the time at sales or it's just going to take a lot of time to test and all that. And if something's only going to sell for like 20, 25, 30 bucks, I don't want to spend a lot of time testing it, cleaning it, all that stuff. I feel like 40 or 50 dollars is kind of my threshold of what something's going to sell for that I'm willing to invest time in cleaning and testing all that stuff. So. That's just for me. Everybody's got their own, you know, threshold or what they want to do. But I'm curious, everybody watching this, leave a comment below. What's your policy on buying stuff that needs a lot of testing, cleaning, whatever, and kind of what's your strategy with that? All right, first thing we're shipping out is one of these lawnmower blade sets. So quite a few of these. I think I've still got four or five left. I've only got a few dollars into each one. It is Cub Cadet, and it's sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a pair of shorts in C32. Let's see here. These are Izod, I believe. Yeah, Izod Saltwater Pigment Dye Cargo Shorts. I got these at a garage sale for $2. New with the tags, they sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next order is a couple of Funko Pops. We got one on C2. It is the State Puffed Marshmallow Man. And the same buyer got one on D3. The Ghostbuster Ecto-1 car, and these two sold for $69.98 plus shipping. They paid shipping for each, I believe, so I'll definitely combine them in the same box and refund them the difference. And those are going out to viewer named Carol. Carol, thank you so much for the support. I hope you like those Funko Pops. Next thing's in B32. It is a Polar T31 transmitter. So this piece right here you wear around your chest, and then I think this like helps strap onto it, and it syncs up to basically like a Fitbit, but it's a polar like Fitbit type uh, watch that tracks your heart rate and other things. And honestly, this thing is kind of dated, so I'm surprised it's still selling as much as it is. I paid three dollars for it at a garage sale, and it sold for twenty six ninety nine free shipping. Next thing is on B four. It's this Shark Press and Refresh steamer, new in the box. I got this at a garage sale. Two weekends ago, I paid ten dollars for it. Sold for thirty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Next thing is a Dale Jarrett metal sign, and I think it is right up here. Yeah, this is it. I've had this for gosh, maybe six nine months. I got it in a bulk buy, so I don't have much into it. Your name Seth reached out and bought this. I think it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping, but. He messaged asking if I would do like 22 uh, free shipping, and I said yes. So I definitely owe him some money. Seth, thank you for the support, man. Hope you like that sign. Next, we're going up to C1. I sold another one of these tackle bags. I got quite a few of these in a bulk buy maybe three, four months ago, and they're selling pretty well. I sell, it seems like, I don't know, two, three months, something like that. This sold for $17.99 free shipping. Next thing's a Funko Pop down here in E6. It is Gus Fring from Breaking Bad. I had this listed for 70 plus shipping and a viewer named Robin reached out, offered uh, 50 plus shipping and I counted with 60 and she accepted. Robin, thanks so much for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, we're going back over to D3. I sold another Funko Pop from Ghostbusters. This is the Gatekeeper, Zool, and the Keymaster and that sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And the same buyer got two down here. Let's see, he got... Walter White in the hazmat suit, and he got Heisenberg, and these two sold for $109.98 plus shipping. Okay, one last Funko Pop going out today. This is Rancor with Luke Skywalker and Slave Ula, and that sold for $39.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, last order we are shipping out is a big one. This is the Tennis Tutor. You guys just saw me pick up at that garage sale last weekend. I paid $30 for it and it sold for $400 plus shipping. You guys are probably curious how I'm gonna ship this Tennis Tutor, so I will show you. 
So my buddy Jamie told me about these foam mattress toppers. I got one at Walmart for $14. It is a queen size and essentially I can just cut it up and wrap this around it and that should help protect it pretty well. The reason I decided to do this instead of bubble wrap is because I think it'll be a little quicker and easier and I think it'll protect it just a little bit better. Well, when I add the padding, this box is too small, so I'm hoping this one will work. All right, that box worked. Um, when I tried to put the uh, packing tape onto the foam, it didn't stick at all. So I just tucked it in really well, and I've got some extra foam right here that I cut off. So I'm going to fill those gaps with that too, but I think that's going to work out perfectly. It's Thursday morning. I have 11 eBay orders to ship out, but first I've got some viewer sales that are going out. Um, these are sales outside of eBay. This first one is the NASCAR Monopoly and four different Mark Martin cars. Those are all going out to Seth for $50 free shipping. Then we've got the Neo Funko from the Matrix. That's going out to Jasmine for $60 free shipping. And the next order has three items. This Mickey Mantle glove, the Dreamfall Xbox game, and this really cool long sleeve Harley Davidson shirt. Those are all going out to John for $45 free shipping. Seth, Jasmine, and John, guys, thanks so much for the support. I really hope you like that stuff. Okay, moving on to eBay orders. First thing is down here at E61. It is this Cool Clips Christy Barbie doll. I got this at a garage sale, I think about a month ago. I paid $7.50 for it, and it's kind of damaged. I made sure I pointed that out, took lots of pictures and someone offered me $30 plus shipping and I accepted. Next thing are some video games. I recently bought an NES collection, so I've got a lot of Nintendo games coming up to be listed, so keep an eye out for that. Let's see, one buyer got Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3 right here. I've got plastic protectors and the little sleeves with them. These two sold to the same buyer for $59.98 free shipping. I also sold Mega Man 1 to a different buyer for $79.99 free shipping and Mega Man 5 for $134.99 free shipping. Next thing's a Funko down here on E6. This is Star Wars First Order Stormtrooper. And I recently learned, I think somebody left a comment on my video, that all the Star Wars Funkos are bobbleheads. So that's pretty cool. That sold for $17.99 plus shipping going out to a viewer named Laura. Laura, thanks for the business. I hope you like the Funko Pop. Okay, next thing I'm pulling, I actually just shipped one of these out yesterday, or maybe it was the day before. It is some more of these lawnmower blades. I only got two sets of them left. I sold two sets yesterday to two different buyers. Each one sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Sold a pair of Crocs. They're actually like Crocs sandals. These right here. I hope they don't fall. I got these from Danny of Pickwell Resellers. And I think I've maybe got five bucks into them, something like that. They sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a Funko Pop down here in E6. It is Opie Winston from Sons of Anarchy. And the buyer said ship out ASAP. They're hoping to get it for an upcoming signing. So hopefully this gets to them in time. That sold for $54.99 plus shipping. Next thing's a puzzle up here in A22. It is old McDonald. Let's see, it's a daddle puzzle. I got this at a garage show for a dollar. Sold to a viewer named Haley for $11.99 plus shipping. Haley, thank you so much for the support. Okay, last thing we're shipping out is, well, I thought it was down here. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, this is, let's see, I think it's seven packages of Decon, I think it's like a rat trap. Yeah, some kind of, or a mouse trap. I got these at my local grocery store because I saw they were clearance. And at the time I thought it was a good buy. They were normally like $6 for a set of two and they were marked down to like $1.50, something like that. So I had them listed for the longest time for like, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks or you know somewhere in that range and they just didn't sell. So I just kept lowering the price, you know, little by little, and they finally sold. Uh, the lot of seven sold for $14.99 plus shipping, and I just don't think it was a very good buy. I might have broke even on this one, guys. 
It's Friday afternoon. I have 15 eBay orders to ship out, but I'm doing things a little bit differently today. I just went on a private pick. It took longer than I expected, and it is almost 4 o'clock, and I have to ship all these orders out, get to the post office, and get my kids picked up by 5. So, normally I would go through and show you everything that I sold. Today, I'm just going to pull the viewer orders, because I still want to acknowledge you guys that bought from me, and thank you personally. So, let's go ahead and pull those really quick. First is down here in E6. It is a Funko Pop. It is the oh, it's all falling here. Let's see. This one right here. The crow that sold for $17.99 plus shipping going out to Chris. Then over here on C3, this Dale Earnhardt Jr. RC car sold for $17.99 plus shipping going out to your name Johanna. And lastly, on D3, I sold Castlevania. Let's see right here, Castlevania 1, I'm pretty sure. That sold for $34.99, free shipping, going out to Adam. Chris, Johanna, and Adam, thanks so much for the support. I hope you guys like that stuff. And that is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.